All right, well, a lot of people have been asking about the primers. So, I think I'll just do an overview of three of my three of the major types I use. And unfortunately, I won't be able to do a tutorial as of now because I only have one hand with me. So, um to start off, it there is no really specific way of how to make primers or the which is right way and all that because it, essentially it's a concept and what it is is you basically have some sort of base to hold um, the shock sensitive compound and some sort of cover to limit if not prevent the gas from traveling backwards and allow the gas to travel into the cartridge so as long as you keep that concept you basically have yourself a primer but I'm just gonna show you some of the ones I that I know for a fact that works but yeah first one is the center one actually that one is like a diagram of a real primer so you guess you can just well, google in Wikipedia wiki or something to find out how real ones work but it's really same simple anyways this one I like to think of it as like a disposable primer and it's a basically got a um, paper cylinder and a little metallic disc super glued on top with a little hole in it that's a, like a little flash hole but and you have a, a shock sensitive compound or caps and basically just tape put a tape over it and the um, problem with this is of course the majority of the times the firing pin will puncture through the tape so there will be slight amount of uh, gas you know reverse gas flow towards the source but that's why it's you know like a disposable thing or low power thing but anyways what is so you basically get yourself a paper cylinder just cut out a strip of long paper and using toothpick or something you just roll it around and apply some glue and get yourself a hard um, uh, cylinder and then you take uh, like a I use a base of a fruit can and you cut out a disc and punch a hole in it and all you have to do is just glue, super glue that on top of the cylinder so you get something like this and that's the base to hold the composition and all you have to do is cut out one of these take aluminum tape and tape over it and basically get yourself a primer so I use aluminum tape because it doesn't rupture as bad as masking tape or plastic tapes so yeah it really doesn't matter if it's like a this since it's a disposable thing you know you just something like you just ignite and throw and you probably know what it is I'm not gonna tell you anyways so that's the first type second type is sort of like a one-way valve so it does limit some of the gas reverse gas flow and um, there's the body so it's like a essentially a metallic cup that's folded inward a little bit at the tip and all you do is uh, you place one of these what I use is a soda can discs place in place that into this put whichever you know composition and then you just place this anvil over it so a little quick overview of how it's made is uh, take like aluminum tube or something I prefer something soft like brass, aluminum or copper tube and you just stick it in the drill and using a flat surface or pliers you just rub it against it while it's spinning so you sort of curve the tip inward and then you would take like a hammer to hammer the side of the tip flat and you just cut it off and you get yourself a little body for the primer and then to make the anvil you repeat the same step and then you would take a back end of a knife or whatever to fold four sides with a full edge of it edge of the you fold the edge of the um, that tube inward a little bit and then you just cut it off and then 
using pliers you would pinch it pinch all four sides inward and then you get just self a like a little plus shaped object and that would essentially work as your anvil so again it's like one sort of works like a one-way valve that's the one I used for the primer testing for 1911 and uh, one of the benefit about this one is well it is considerably smaller than the other ones and it is essentially reusable easy to maintain and you can actually put it in through your cartridge not that you would want to put a full load onto it because well it is made for low pressure rounds but yeah the third option is essentially the same as the concept is the same except you would use a real primer or a fired primer so if you have access to you know fired brass you can just deprime it and essentially drill a hole to the center of the primer leaving the wall, little bit of the wall on the top left and then you just put an aluminum uh, disc onto it and place some powder and you know place the anvil back in so it's essentially recycling and you can actually just place these back right back into the cartridge so yeah still wouldn't use still wouldn't want to use full load so if it's like you know for what I use is my paper gun so they're not gonna be using you know they're not gonna be going through a huge tremendous amount of force so don't really have to worry about that much but yeah some of the it, the primer it, all it is is just concept so that's you know doesn't really matter what you use as long as you keep that concept and uh, one other thing the reason why you know I have to go through all this trouble is because well it's uh, all my firing pin springs and all that are considerably weak like little pin springs and this little stretched out extension spring so you can see it's considerably weak and the reason why I do that is because well in case for some strange reason real real ammunition ends up in my gun they will not fire it because the spring tension will not be or the energy from the spring will not be great enough to let the uh, force travel through the cup metallic cup so if you're using you know heavy duty springs like this like you can I can hardly even depress it but anyways if you're using something like this then well you you probably better off using a real primer because it's probably easier it might cost you a little bit of money but it's easier so yeah that's pretty much it and that was a lot of talk for sure it was a little boring and all that but just trying to help some people out and you just gotta keep these variables in and the reason for using soft metals like aluminum cans because I use weak springs on purpose so uh, you know take responsibility in what you do don't be doing stupid things like you know putting primers in your mouth or something like that so yeah stay safe and hopefully this helped a little bit and maybe if I can get my cameraman to cooperate I can make a quick little tutorial on how to make one of these primers so thanks for watching